Are you looking for an easy way of inserting a calendar into a Google Sheets document? I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you two different possibilities you have to insert a calendar into a Google Sheets document. Option number one, use Google Sheets template. To add or to use one of the Google template calendars, simply go to your Google Drive. I'm going to right click and hover over the arrow here um, under Google Sheets and then choose from a template. And now I'm brought to the general templates that are available if you have a Google Workspace account. And if I scroll down somewhat, you should see, there you go, calendar. Let me click on that. It's now making a copy of this template and you will see that there you go. We have a nice calendar here on the first sheet. We have an overview of the whole year. And then on the following sheets, we have the separate months nicely in different colors. And by the way, we can go ahead and change these colors if we want to format theme. And here we have um, a couple of different options. Let me just go ahead and choose something here. Retro. Um, you could also customize it if you wanted to. Let's have a look at the retro style. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I'd say. So that's option number one. Option number two, create a calendar manually. What about if you want a calendar that is tailored to your specific needs? For instance, if we have a look at this template that we used here, this looks great. But for me, being in Europe, um, we don't start our calendars on with Sunday as the first weekday. For us, Monday is the first weekday. This is actually the international standard, but in a lot of um, English-speaking countries, Sunday is the first day displayed on a calendar. Or think about uh, Arabic countries. A lot of, um, for a lot of these countries, their weekend is not on Saturday and on Sunday. So you might want to have a calendar that reflects the customs in your culture or in your country. So I've created a new document here, gave it the name of 2021 calendar. And in the cell A1, I'm going to write January 2020, oops, not 2020, but 2021. There you go. And in my second or my third row, I want the days. So let's start with Monday. And then I'm just simply going to drag that out and it's going to auto complete the days of the week. Very good. Um, now I need to find out when's the first day, so the 1st of January, on what weekday does that fall? Now, here I would like to mention that this calendar, it's not dynamic. So you will find other YouTube videos that show you how to create dynamic calendars where it, um, where it, uh, how should I say it, um, calculates when the first weekday is. That's super cool, works especially well if you're working with the Sunday as a first date, but I want to keep this an easy tutorial. I want anybody to follow along and create their own customized version. And that's why I'm gonna make this more of a manually calendar. So there's a lot of more manual um, um, work going on, but I would say maximum 15 minutes and you've got this calendar. So it's not too bad actually. Um, double click on the A1 cell and then you'll see, ah, okay, so this is actually the date. So it's being displayed as January 2021. That's the, the format it's showing me, but the actual value is the date. And double clicking in the cell makes this calendar appear. And I see that the 1st of January falls on a Friday. So let me just go ahead and do the following. And as I'm going to complete this row here, you'll notice that I'm using the European format of writing dates. That means that we write the day slash or dot, then the month and then the year. And then I'm going to um, fill out the second line or the second week. There you go. You know what? Let me go ahead and do like so. I want a space in between. Uh, so this is going to be the 11th. Again, still not used to writing 2021. Space again, then the 18th. Oops, um, I just undid that by hitting Command Z. And 21, 25th, there you go. And the 31st is gonna fall on the Sunday, if I'm correct. Yes, very good. 
Okay, so I have now all the days, but I don't actually want to dis display them like so. I would just like to see here one, two, three. I think that's that's just the way I want my calendar. You probably too. So let's leverage the formatting. This is pretty easy, actually. Uh, go ahead and say format um, number more formats and in here more date and time formats. So this is the default and I'm just going to delete these. I don't want to use these and do away with that too. And now see what happens. Voila, that looks just like I want it to be. So let me copy this format and paste it, use it on the others. I'm, I'm deliberately not using it on um, on the blank rows because I don't know what I might want to add there. I just don't want to use that format there. So I really want to use it only on the days. So there you go. And now I could also go ahead and make this bigger. I could resize this. Uh, let's make that even bigger. I think that's, oops, not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do, resize group. 70. These are pixels that we're passing in here as a value. And there you go. And the last one too. And what I also want to do is, um, since I live in a region where Saturday and Sunday are our weekdays, our days off, I want to change the color, the fill color. Well, let's give it purple and let's make the text color white. There you go. So that worked out like a charm. Why don't we go ahead and also, uh, you know what, do like so. Okay, good. Now I have one month. What about if I need a second, third? Let's say I need 12 months. I want all the months. Well, let me just go ahead and rename this. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to show you February. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole month, but I'm just going to show you that this is what you would do. So January finished on the 31st. That means um, February is going to start here on the 1st, passing the right, the correct date. And autocomplete like so. That looks pretty good. Uh, and now I'm just going to use this format on here to copy. Perfect. And like so, and here we're just going to leverage the format from here and then you would go through it like so. If you want it to be even easier, then you could just pass in the dates here, 15, 16, and just drag it out. That would also be a possibility. Um, here I did keep the date because you never know you might be using that, but to make it even easier than that, just go ahead and you know write the two, the numbers or the date, the dates in the two or no the days, so 15, 16, in the two um, uh, cells, and then just you know drag it out until Sunday. So that's the even easier way to create your own calendar. And obviously you would go ahead copying or duplicating this until you've reached December of 2021. In the comment section below, let me know what do you plan on inserting or using this calendar in a Google Sheets document for? And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Sheets and the other apps that are part of Google Apps Script and I would not want you to miss out on any of those video tutorials.